when I was in high school, they actually had the dual enrollment option where you could actually, you know, come to high school for your remainder credits and then, you know, you would go to a vocational school and actually pick up a trade. You know, you would actually graduate with a trade at the same time as you would get your high school diploma. So I did speak to my dad about it um, because I wanted to go to Sheridan Tech and do the hair program. But I'm from a culture where if you're not a lawyer, a teacher, oh, no, sorry, a teacher, don't even cut it. If you're not a lawyer, a doctor, a police officer, or a nurse, you're actually considered a nobody, pretty much. It don't matter if you were an engineer, a millionaire, whatever. Those were like the top five. Lawyer, doctor, nurse, police officer, and I think that's it. I think it's four. So I was told, no, I couldn't do that. No. So I didn't do it. Fast forward years later, I actually did go to a university. I actually was going to Flomo. I was going to Florida Memorial University. And Flomo had the option where you could actually go into a salon on campus and get your hair done. Well, like in financial aid, you would just swipe your ID card. And I actually got infatuated with that. And I would actually like skip class to go chop it up in the salon with the girls or skip class to do hair. So it was like I wasn't accomplishing anything. So eventually my dad just buckled down and actually let me go to hair school because college wasn't working. Some other things also happened in the midst. Yeah, I had done put it all on the line for a guy. Anywho, that's a whole different story. If you guys want to hear that, drop it in the comments below. I'll tell y'all the story. Child, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Especially not for no nigga ladies. Anywho. Yeah. So I did have that option in high school to actually, you know, start it. But I wasn't granted that option. And that just brings me to say this for the parents out there. Support your kids no matter what your kids want to do. Like, it may not be your view. It might not be what you want for them. But if it's something they want to do, support them. I don't care if my baby want to sell hot dogs. My baby going to have the rawest hot dog stand on the block. I put spinners on my baby hot dog stand. And be like, man, you seen that hot dog stand with them rims on it? I'm from Florida. I'll go get a paint job, take it to the paint man. Have my baby cart raw. But, you know, just support your kids in whatever they want to do. Because fast forward to now, I'm class of 2010. Fast forward to 2019, I'm doing hair. I'm not trying to be a homicide detective anymore. Because that was only to please my pa my parent. So, yeah. Fast forward to years later, I'm doing hair. I even have people that I went to school with, like, you do hair? You ain't go to college? You still to do hair? Yeah. Pretty much. Actually, went to college and stopped to do hair. Some other things had done cause me to stop, too, but, yeah. So right now I'm just working on my business administration. I'm already a licensed cosmetologist and from there. 